I was about eight years old. It was, we lived in Valdez, Alaska. It was Christmas break, so middle of December. Christmas break is time to drink hot chocolate and play with your friends and go sledding and sleep in. So me and my older sister and younger brother, uh, we were very unhappy when my mom woke us up early one morning and she said, kids, wake up. I had a dream. I had a dream about our friend Diane and Strelna and we have to go and visit her. And so this was strange for a couple of reasons. One is that I need to tell you about my mom. Um, she, I think every small town has a lady like her. She was the president of everything. So she's always up in front of the town on the microphone, um, you know, announcing things, announcing everything. And uh, the other thing about my mom is that she's a scientist. She has a degree in chemistry. She actually worked as a chemist. She's literally a scientist. And our, she, our family motto was sort of, life is a science fair experiment. So, you know, you have a question, you have a hypothesis, you gather evidence, and this is how you make your decisions. Um, and so my mom waking us up saying, I had a dream, you know, and we're gonna go do this thing was just, first of all, really strange. The other strange part of this is that she wanted us to go visit Strelna, which maybe a lot of you who are from Alaska have never heard of Strelna. And there's a good reason for that. I actually Googled it preparing for the show and I found that um, there was just a Strelna Creek and it's not actually a real town that I could tell on Google. Um, and we had, we had these friends that lived out there and we would visit them sometimes in the summer. The road to Strelna, it's the, the road between Chitna and McCarthy, which is up in the Copper River Valley. Um, it's sort of this one and a half lane dirt road that was dangerous in the summer to drive and it was treacherous in the winter. So this was not a place we went, but um, we had this friend who lived on a homestead out there. And so the last thing that was strange was that mom wanted to go because we were worried about Diane. But Diane is the kind of person who moves from Valdez, uh, where we met her, to Strelna to have a homestead. Like, Diane is probably fine, mom. <laughs> so anyway, we start you know, thinking through this and playing. We're like, we don't even know if she's there. Like, it's almost Christmas. She could be in Anchorage shopping. We're going to drive to Strelna. And, and mom's like, all right we need to listen to the caribou clatter because if something is wrong, Diane's gonna send out a clatter. The caribou clatter is this radio uh, program where um, you can get, you know, people in the bush can send messages and they get broadcast to everyone and so it's a way to communicate for people who don't have two-way communication. So you can, you know, send help cries or birthday messages, anything like that. Uh, so we gather around the table with our radio and we listen to the clatter and we don't hear anything from Diane. So we're kind of back to square one. We just have mom's dream that we need to go to Strelna. Um, and so we're like, mom sends a clatter to Diane and says, the Wilcoxes are coming. And we're like, well, we hope she listens this morning. Like, we don't know, you know, she even, she's gonna listen. So, but my mom is my mom, so we're going. And so we get into our, our 1975 mobile traveler, little 20 foot motorhome. And we start heading out of town, but on the way out, mom stops at the store. And she goes crazy in the store, and we're buying all these groceries, and we were buying toilet paper, and we were buying dog food, and we bought a Christmas ham, and we pile all of this into the motorhome. And um, we head up to Strelna, which is the area that we, my family used to call up country, which is, as you go from the ocean Valdez inland, it just gets colder and colder and colder. And so the motorhome is set up so that the, the driver sits in the front and the kids get to sit way in the back and the heater is only in the front. And so the back of the motorhome is the same temperature as the outside. So we used to stay warm by we'd get into those, those big like brown sleeping bags. I think they're from my grandpa in World War II or something and they have flannel on the inside. And we would, we would get into them and then we'd buckle around them, which mom told us not to do because it's not safe, but there was really nothing safe about this motorhome. <laughs> So we were, we're driving up to Strelna. I remember the motorhome, it was very old. It had metal edges around the window and I remember putting my head against the edge and my head, my hair freezing to the metal and having to rip my, rip my hair off of the, the frozen metal. So we're you know, careening down this ice road to Strelna because of this dream in the middle of the winter, we, we make it, you know, we like look back in the woods and find the right mailbox that marks the little road that goes to our friend's homestead. So we pull in and the dog team's barking, the horses are restless. 
Um, and this is the moment of truth. We're gonna find out, you know, like what is mom's dream real? What happened? And so uh, she parks the motor home, she gets out, and we are like, yeah, we're not getting out unless we know we're staying here. So we just <laughs> scratch off the ice off the window <laughs> so that we can see what happens. And my mom goes out, and our friend Diane, she's seeing us coming, she comes out of the house, and she's actually holding a little bundle. And we, we had known that Diane was pregnant, but we didn't, you know, she lived way out, and we weren't all up on the timeline, but, so she had this, this baby in her arms. And, you know, my, I see my mom, I just see this in pantomime, my mom like, oh, baby, oh, you know, we're here. And, and Diane just, she's holding this baby, and she grabs my mom, and she wraps her arms around her, and I just see this, like, you know, these two, these are two of the strongest, most independent women I've ever known, and I see this quality in the hug of, like, I needed you. Um, and so we, we get out of the motorhome, we go inside, we unload everything. Come to find out, Diane had had the baby alone the day before. And um, so, you know, it's pretty new, pretty fresh. We help clean up, do laundry, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, everyone takes a shower. And, and that night, we, not wanting to invade this incredible Alaska women's space, we go back to Valdez. And I have thought about this story hundreds of times since then, you know, wondering, was this really a prophetic dream that my mom had? Or was this just one of those weird coincidences? Um, I think the most powerful thing that I've taken away from this story is that my mom taught me that when you feel like you need to go to someone and you need to help them, you go, even if it feels like that's a delusion.